attack. Oh, that's awful. I think he, that critical against Ethan, because he had Reflect, that was the only thing that could have gotten through. Not he. Uh, I guess Logan actually does have a revive. What, what do you mean no effect? Oh no, the deflect is active even though he's dead. <laughs> that's that's terrible logic. I can't revive him because he's reflecting the the, the damn spell to, to bring him back. Uncoachable. Not how that should work. So I, I don't have access to Calm, but I think we'll still win. I'm gonna go ahead and heal Sonya. Oh, he intercepted again. I'm gonna heal up Logan. So oddly enough, I'm, I think he might have run out of MP because he's not using Coma anymore. Oh, we got a critical against him. Oh, he got a critical against me. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna put all of our chips on Logan right now. He's good. We did it. Mankind has always been the poison. is man that destroys nature as he multiplies in number. I, on the other hand, am the antidote. It was nature that created me to maintain her delicate balance. When I first brought civilization to its knees, I felt an overwhelming sorrow for what I'd done. In my anguish, I cast the jewels of doom to the far corners of Isanasa, so that I would never repeat the deed again. But when I saw mankind once again becoming a threat to nature, I decided it was time to put an end to everything once and for all. However, it would seem that a power much greater than mine has decided that mankind must live. I can only bow to that decision. What's eating you, your highness? Did we really do the right thing? I can't shake the feeling that nausea was nature's last defense against man. By defeating nausea, we may have sealed the fate of nature. Ah, but you mustn't forget that nausea yielded to what he claimed was a higher decision. If that is the case, then I think it is safe to assume that the powers that be have left it in our hands to maintain nature's balance. Maybe this time, nature used nausea to warn us. Yeah, now what we gotta do is live and let live. I hate to admit it. But I think our streetwise friend has singled out an ideal solution. Live and let live. I couldn't have said it better myself. Hey, you're making me blush. That the dragon is slayed, both them and the twin. That's the final light of the game. That's it.
Unless there's like post credit stuff and then I can launch into my review. And we did it just in time! Despite the, the misstep at the very start uh, of like missing multiple story triggers in a row to do something as simple as progressing through a cave. Yeah, it, it is. Oh, hold on, wait, there's more. There's our... So wait, is the dragon blue or is the dragon white? <laughs> Very confused. I thought we were literally riding Null, but now it's... I did like the music in this game. Guard shop. This, this game definitely is getting a, a must-play recommendation. I'll share my score in a moment. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I did too. It was just a matter of waiting uh, for me to have access to the PC Engine slash Turbo Graphics uh, duo again. The PC Engine had that one issue with the sound only coming out of like the one headset because there was problems with the cords. And so whenever Analog released their product for that and I got that, I decided to come back to this. This was a game that was on the back burner. Um, East 1 and 2 were also on the back burner. That's coming up at some point. It's not going to be the next game because that's going to be too long. Uh, between, because we want to still be able to start Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, like, basically whenever the game comes out, more or less. And, um, I will be playing, um, remember we played, uh, Magic Knight Ray Earth slash Magic Knight Pray It Works, because the Saturn kept burning out after, like, maybe an hour of playing it. Um... So I've been always looking into playing other games that are Magic Knight, uh, but the Super Nintendo uh, Super Famicom RPG, oh, thanks for playing this game. Remember, you are now a real, genuine hero, a dragon slayer. What an inspirational message. Yes, we're playing the Game Gear Magic Knight game because the Super Nintendo game seemed like way too similar plot-wise. Okay, I guess they're not going to say anything, so I think we're, we're in the clear. I do think that its original message at the end was great. But yeah, the, the Game Gear RPG is apparently very short, so that's the reason I want to do it. What, 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 what was that effect? <laughs> Alex, my love. Yes, go back to exile. The sleepy town of exile, and have your dragon live in a cave, and then have the harvest festival, and all that fun stuff. That dragon flute, turn it into an ocarina, and yeah, we're all set. <laughs> you got Lunar. Um, anything post credits? I think it's probably just gonna sit on the screen. That's fine. Um. 84 out of 100. Uh, I love this game. I I absolutely really like this game. I do think it's disappointing in some respects that we only had two instances of animated cutscenes, the very, very start and the very, very end. Uh, we, you, we had a copious amounts of voice acting, the first three chapters, not so much the fourth, and a little bit in the fifth, and then more towards the finale at the end. But I thought it would have been nice if some of those voice scenes also had like the animated cutscenes associated with them. Because it seems like it was lending itself to doing that, but they just never actually did anything with that. Uh, but gameplay-wise, the game is just really, really good. Um, 
most of the nitpicks about RPGs are avoided here. The game is slow. This is like RPGs are slow games. This game is not slow. This game has some of the fastest movement speed, the fastest battling speed I've ever played out of anything, and especially on a CD-based game. Um, RPGs being too hard and punishing. As you saw when I died in the final boss fight, I didn't have to go down three flights of stairs and start at the very bottom because uh, I can only save outside of dungeons. I can save anywhere in dungeons, anywhere outside of dungeons, and if I die, I can immediately restart. Uh, any, I didn't know if you, any of you noticed this, but when I sold items at stores, it wasn't 50% back, which a lot of RPG, RPGs do. It's 75% of the value of the item, meaning it was a lot easier to come by money, not only just by farming items, but by selling items you already had. It was less less of a gold penalty for doing so. I thought a lot of the areas were very colorful, and I thought a lot of the fights were interesting. I liked turning Sonya into a monster slayer just by giving her a weapon that would insta-kill enemies and then just manipulate using the luck stat to just work in my advantage. Um, I thought the music was very good. The graphics were very colorful. I liked a, a lot of the sprite work in this game, especially when they did things like having like dogs bark at you whenever you enter residences or have certain characters behave differently if you approach their interact radius i thought it was very ambitious for like a an early cd based game and uh, i've just again i've never played an rpg that's moved this quickly before uh, we beat it in less than 15 hours I and mean, we obviously could have spent more time if we wanted to uh with grinding or, or exploring or doing other things but uh we didn't really have to do that because of how nice the game was. Um, if you die in a battle, you can either restart it, or if you feel you're in that over your head, they'll warp you back to town for free. Uh, plus, they had fast travel, they had the boat, they had the flying dragon, so your airship is checked off because you technically have one. Um, I I think like really that one of the big things I was just disappointed by was like the fact that there just wasn't more animated. Uh, cutscenes or things of that nature, but everything else, I thought it was a it was a pretty cute, charming game. Uh, definitely glad I played it. I am curious enough to check out the the rest of the series at some point. I don't know when, but I want to look into the other games. Um, I think the the second game might be on the Turbo Graphics slash PC engine. I'm not sure if we got the second one or not, uh, but I will be looking into it now. Uh, but at least for right now. Uh, Tuesday, I will be back for Magic Knight Ray Earth on the Game Gear. I think there's two games on the Game Gear, but I'll be playing the first one. Because I think the second one is literally Magic Knight Ray Earth 2. And so I assume I play that after I play the first one. But we'll be back with that on Tuesday. And I appreciate everybody stopping by and uh, witnessing the slaying of the dragon, the power of the human spirit. And I'll see everybody back on Tuesday. And uh, for everybody watching the, the stream in a moment, I'll see everyone there.